you know, plant you. And these are some of the things that are being taught that are not biblical. So we have to make sure that the things that we are teaching our people and so forth, that they are grounded in scripture, the um, biblical authority, grounded in, 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 in our religious tradition. So Profro is very right and I endorse um, the theory of James Profro about religious illiteracy. And another thing I want to say about religious illiteracy is that if we don't overcome it, it will become a crisis. A crisis to how we build relationships because many of us we see Muslims as terrorists and we misjudge Jews and we misjudge other people because we don't understand their religion. Many of us have not taken time out to read the Quran. Many of us don't even know how to try to evangelize a Muslim person. To recognize that one, if you read the Quran, the Quran tells you about Isa, Jesus Isa, the son of Mary. That the Muslims do believe that Jesus is a prophet. And then they believe that you must obey the prophet. Isn't that a point of conversation? Fearful because it is predicted that we will have serious economic problems in this country. We are fearful of racism. We are fearful of all the political confusions we see going in this country. But I want to say to Paramount, uh, there is no need to fear because the God uh, that has brought you through over 106 years, uh, he is the same uh, yesterday, today, and forever. The God that we celebrate uh, is a God uh, that liberates our ancestors from slavery. Are you with me, somebody? The God uh, that we celebrate uh, is the one that brought you from Jim Crow laws. Uh. The God uh, that we celebrate uh, was the God that delivered you even through the civil rights area. And even though we see all kinds of confusions and disillusionment in our Congress, and the lack of cooperation and collaboration with our president. We know we don't have to worry about the future because we know that God is ultimately in control of our lives and our destiny. Bless the name of Jesus. The world that we are living in is a world where there are so many people they have all the things that are material and temporal but they are like the 11 who have never walked out on favor to the God that can change their lives and give them a destiny of greatness but there's something I want to share with you and I'm gonna wrap this up is that as you in Paramount, as members of this body, yeah. as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, there are times in your life when you will sense that connection with God. There are times when you will be going through storms. There are times when the waves will be around you. The waves of financial hardship. The waves of divorce. The waves of being cursed out. The waves of seeing your family in jail. The waves of dealing with drug addicts. The waves of all kinds of mess. But if you cry out to God and say, Lord, I am coming forth, He will allow you to walk by faith. Yeah.